Soweto, in South Africa's Gauteng province, one of the country's poorest townships. The economic prospects and standard of life of those who live here are largely limited by the lack of a good education. Poverty keeps many children away from school, but President Nelson Mandela's education initiative aims to give all children equal access to school facilities and to improve the quality of educational resources. Bringing a better standard of teaching to the classroom means improving access to the latest information. So here at the Tembisa High School, alongside the traditional blackboard, computers are being introduced. It's one of five schools in the district to be provided with computers linked up to the internet. Through the net, a direct link has been set up with five schools in Britain, so the pupils can talk to each other online and swap research information. It's not only improved schoolwork, but made it more fun. Internet is very exciting in many ways because now we are able to communicate with other people, hear what they have to say, their views and everything. So it also shows us their cultures, their way of st uh, life, the style of their life and everything about them. So it's very exciting. Hampstead Hall School in Birmingham is one of the five schools in Britain to be linked up to the internet as part of the scheme. The students here are equally excited to make new friends with their colleagues overseas and to be able to learn about another country and culture firsthand. It's just exciting because you get to meet different people. It's the end of our year in school and so we've got quite a lot of projects going on and so we could use, we could use help from people like in other countries the internet link-up is funded from a 38 million dollar British aid budget given to develop education in South Africa. Britain's Secretary of State for International Development Claire Short visited Hampstead Hall School to see it in action. She says it has a key role in improving education. Well we're moving the kind of focus of our work to working systematically with countries that want to reduce poverty to educate a whole generation of children because that's a profoundly important thing for development if you can get a whole generation of educated children and you can't be looking at a country and not look at the internet and say we've educated a generation of children so it's part and parcel of that commitment to big improvements in education across the world and if our children need it so do children elsewhere. Smile, everybody. To launch the scheme, a live video and audio link was set up so the pupils could send pictures and talk to each other directly. The technology is supplied by Interaid, the British group running the project. Nick Short is their UK director. I think there's a very exciting potential in that we could see technology, um, if you like, leapfrogging countries which have suffered for many years by being underdeveloped, leapfrog them into the 21st century alongside schools in Britain or the States. But there's also an implicit danger that unless we ensure that technology is available to all schools, all, whether rich or poor, we may well just see an exacerbation of the already existing gap between the haves and the have-nots. The money to cover the running and repair costs for the computer lab in Timbisa is given by the teacher and parents in the form of a fee paid to join the computer club. The facilities are available to everyone, but not everyone uses them, as one of the club members explained. They told us that this computer center, if you want to learn it, you may come, it's, on, it's, it's only 50 rand. So my parents just paid for me and I, I came and I learned computers. Some, they don't like computers at all, but others, they wish they, come to, they can come and do computers, but it's just that the money of their parents doesn't exist. Of course, the teachers benefit too. By using the World Wide Web, they can access educational materials for use in the classroom. This way, the standard of education is improved, even for those who don't use the computers. So Members of the South African Education Forum believe it will accelerate development. Every child, even the very teachers, are pining for technology. So immediately, this thing has got something to do with technology. There is no way our education cannot improve, and particularly now that we are going to be connected with countries outside South Africa. 
10 years here after, we will be equal to all other people from all other countries. South Africa now accounts for more than 48,000 of the 50,000 internet hosts for the whole of the African continent. The school's internet project aims to further increase the number of internet connections, but also to encourage more people to make use of its resources. The headmaster of Tembisa School, Joseph Tenasi, says people must recognize and use opportunities like this if the nation is to develop. People must work hard, schools must work hard, schools must change themselves, they must not wait for the government to change them, because government will take long, understandably, not critically. Uh, as long as people work hard and have, they have goals, there will definitely be a change. In this school, as you can, you move around, you'll see there are some new things that the school, together with the students, have implemented, uh, which we didn't find here. And uh, so I believe, I have faith in the people of South Africa. They are moving forward. Back in Birmingham, the equipment available in the school shows the pupils are much better off than their new South African friends. In Soweto, some fear investment in computers will mean less money for basic needs like books and sports equipment. But there's faith the internet will improve education in South Africa, bringing brighter prospects for the nation's development.